Day in the football world, but it's even a bigger day for the players and their families. Roxanne Elias is taking us to the field for the moment they've been waiting all summer for. It's Big Board Friday. Today is kind of a melting pot of multiple emotions. Uh, excitement, uh, certainly to have the kids play. And everyone from the Clay High School Athletic Director to the parents of the football players. Um, excited, nervous, grateful. <laughs> have all been anticipating this day after COVID-19 had rained on their parade for way too long. But rain or shine, they're willing to abide by any rule just to see their players back on the field. There's a lot of demand for Friday night football, and there should be. Uh, so that just the capacity constraints is really difficult, and it's a hard, it's a tough pill for people to swallow. For Tara Jackson, it's a big moment to finally watch her son finish his senior season. These boys have worked hard, and everything else has been canceled around us. They haven't really been able to do anything. And the sport means more than just a win for these players and their families. A lot of athletes are leaning on athletics to get off and to further their education. So if we have a football season, they're able to portray how good they are um, and hopefully get scholarships. As Friday night football wraps up, loyal fans say this is just the beginning of a new normal for this season. But they're willing to abide as long as sports can continue. Watch my granddaughter cheerleading. This is her fourth year at it. And I haven't missed a clay football game in four years. So I just love to watch them. In Toledo. Go on, let's see your Spartans. Let's get the win tonight. <laughs> Roxanne Elias, WTOL.